to Engineering 45, and we're going to begin our uh, basically journey on how am I going to, in a remote teaching environment, uh, <laughs> stuff four years of materials undergraduate into one semester. Uh, so let's go ahead and figure that out together. So uh, again, this is Engineering 45. Uh, this is Materials Engineering or Material Science and Engineering. Uh, my name is Professor Joshua Paul Steimel. Uh, I did my undergraduate degrees at MIT and my PhD at uh, MIT as well, both in Material Science and Engineering. Uh, and I'm excited to have you, even though it's a virtual environment, uh, we want to try to kind of make the best uh, out of our situation and learn a lot about materials, all different types of material properties, material behavior, uh, and really get you, uh, whether you're a civil engineer, a bioengineer, a mechanical engineer, get you interested in material science and engineering because I'm amazed at my material or my mechanical engineers and all the different devices that they can create. But at the end of the day, at the heart of all their creation is uh, materials. So we need to be able to kind of understand materials and figure out how we can select materials, improve upon materials, and uh, basically reach new bounds in terms of application. So how are we going to kind of structure this class? Um, well, I want to kind of give you the full undergraduate uh, experience that I had as a material scientist in one semester. So it's not going to be easy. So I took the following courses, 3012, 3014, 6, they're burned into my memory, 3022, 3024, 3032, 3034, 3042, 3044. These are kind of like the core courses uh, that I took as an undergraduate. So 3012 was uh, a combination class. <laughs> it was thermo and structure, and structure in one uh, one class. Very difficult class. Very fun class with Sam Allen. You're going to hear more about him uh, in this class. So thermodynamics. We're going to hear uh, in basically lecture five and lecture six. A little bit of lecture six, mostly in lecture five in this course. Uh, and again, you can kind of see some of the courses. Bonding is going to be covered in lecture one. Structure in two. Epex three. Fusion four, phase diagrams five, uh, and again, I have an OER book, so these number of lectures or chapters are correlated. Nucleation and growth, that's going to be six. Mechanics is going to be seven, that's a long lecture. Electrochemistry, corrosion, that's going to be eight. Oh, I forgot polymers. How can I forget polymers? They're my favorite material. Polymers will be nine, and electrical and optical magnetic properties, that's going to be ten. So, uh, that was my 3012 course. 3014 was materials laboratory. So this is a lab course, and we are going to run the same labs that I ran uh, as an undergraduate in this course. An XRD lab, a DSC lab, you're going to learn all these acronyms in a bit, a mechanics lab, and a corrosion lab. Very, very fun, uh, even in this kind of virtual environment, and we're going to learn different forms of technical writing. 3016 was basically a mathematics course, but it was also a coding course, learning Mathematica. And in this class, you'll learn a little bit of Mathematica. You don't need to use Mathematica. You can use MATLAB. You can use other resources. Um, but that is at your disposal if you would like um, to utilize that resource. Uh, and you can reuse that on exams and problem sets uh, in, in lab as well. So, uh, all right, what's next? So this was our kinetics class. So you're going to get a little bit of kinetics in lectures four and lectures, actually, lecture four. So yeah, actually, lecture four. And also in lecture six, nucleation and growth as well. 3024 was basically this electrical, optical, and magnetic properties class. Uh, there are a lot of quantum. We're not going to get into quantum in this course. So I'll save you that um, for another physics course, and you could talk all about the uh, <laughs> Heisenberg uncertainty principle. You could talk about Jordan's Earth's cat. Um, I'm going to stay away from uh, quantum mechanics as best as I can, but we'll cover a little bit of that in lecture 10, but that's really a course in on itself. 3032, that is mechanics. So lecture 7. 3034 was biomaterials. Biomaterials we could kind of just assume as polymers. So lecture 9. 3042 was our basically senior design project. So we're not going to do that. Uh, you'll do that later in your curriculum here. And 3044 was heat transfer. So, uh, but heat transfer, uh, we're going to see that the fundamental equations are actually the same as the equations that we're going to learn in lecture 3, which is diffusion. Uh, so structure, excuse me, I forgot to put this one. 1, 2, and 3. Uh, all those lectures are going to kind of cover that. So this is your four year. Uh, undergraduate experience in one semester. Everybody ready? All right, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> I'll see you in the class, uh, and next time we're going to get into the materials tetrahedron. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.